What's up, family? Man, I bless each and every one of you. May God continue to guide you, comfort you, and aid you in your growth and development, as well as the healing stages of your life. Family, we got to grow up. We have to grow up. Man, <sighs> so often we go through so much stuff in life, and it kind of, it kind of, um, puts us in a box if that makes sense you know what i mean we go through stuff in life and man it just it traumatizes us so much that we put that thing on and that thing becomes part of us stay with me i'm going somewhere and it's not going to take long today it won't be another hour video today but we'll put that thing on whatever it is that we went through whatever our experience was that hurt us so much, that messed us up so bad, will wear that as though it's a jacket, as though it's you. you. You know what I mean? That's you. That pain, that trauma, that experience, I mean, it becomes ingrained in your DNA. And as though that becomes your identity, whatever it was. That becomes your idea. That becomes the thing you're known for. Yeah. Yeah. That becomes your get out of jail free card. That becomes your escape, your excuse for everything. That becomes your excuse. Of why you're not successful. Of why you're not happy. Of why you don't have any joy and peace and happiness. Or why you don't have a man. Or why you don't have a woman. Or why you ain't got no money. Or whatever the case may be. That thing, way back when, becomes your escape. Your excuse as to why you're fucked up here and now. because you use that as an excuse. And people bought into the bullshit when you were younger. People bought into the lame ass excuse that you gave them. My daddy was never in my life. And yes, that fucked you up. Yes, that hurt you and that traumatized you and that messed up your relationships with guys going forward. Yes, I get it. But at what point are you going to grow the fuck up and stop using that lame ass excuse as to why you ain't got a man? You're 40, 50 years old now. You're in your 30s now. Your daddy ain't been in your life over 20 fucking years. You've lived the great majority of your life without your daddy in your life. And you're still blaming your daddy for not being there as to why you're fucked up when it comes to relationships. As to why you keep choosing these sorry dead beat dudes. Okay. Tweet stay on. Do what, the, do what you do. You know what I mean? I ain't mad at you. Do what you do. But if you're a chosen one, if you're a starseed, a rainbow warrior, a child of God, a light worker, at some point, you're going to have to grow the fuck up. At some point, you're going to have to stop using these people as fucking excuses and as crutches. At some point, you're going to have to learn to let that shit go. But the truth is, the great majority of us don't want to let this shit go. And we're just, we're perfectly fine in our own little fucking world of being alone for the rest of our fucking life. Because if I'm alone, I ain't got to deal with no shit. If I'm alone, I ain't got to work on me. If I'm alone, I don't have to deal with my bullshit. If I'm alone, I can stay nasty and grimy and dirty and fucked up and messy and da 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 I could stay lazy and da 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 I could keep my fucking house dirty I could keep sleeping in the fucking bed all day long I could keep the bathroom dirty and grime in the kitchen nasty ain't nobody coming over here to see it ain't nobody gonna say shit to me about it I could get overweight and just let my shit go and ain't nobody gonna say shit to me because I'm alone
I'll get me a fucking cat. I'll get me a fucking dog. I'll get me a fish or whatever the fuck it is you like. And I'll be alone with my crystals. I'll be alone with my sage. I'll be alone with my tarot cards. And all this other bullshit. Because we don't want to grow the fuck up. And then we'll fix it and twist it and make it seem as though we're so happy, we're so content, we're so at peace. And no, the fuck you ain't. You're a fucking liar. You've been lying your whole fucking life. You've bought into the motherfucking lie. And the set, you don't even realize you're lying anymore. Because you've been telling that same fucking lie for decades. How you're so happy now that he's gone. How you're so happy now that she's gone. How you have so much more peace and joy and happiness. And they were the root of your problems. No, the fuck they wasn't. They was calling you on your fucking bullshit and you didn't like it. I'm not saying that they were perfect. But they weren't accepting your bullshit. They weren't accepting your lame ass fucking excuses. And you didn't like it. Because the truth be told, it was a trigger to you not having a daddy. The truth be told, it pissed you off and made you feel some kind of way. Because they wasn't your daddy and they're trying to act like your daddy. And that's what you said. But they weren't trying to act like your daddy. They're just trying to get you to raise your fucking standards of living. They're just trying to get you to take care, better care of your fucking self. They're just trying to get you to get up and stop being fucking lazy and clean the fucking house. They just want you to take some fucking pride in yourself. They just want you to stop telling that fucking lame story. And start fucking living. And you couldn't handle it. You didn't want to handle it. So you made them the enemy. You made them the fall guy for why the relationship ended. Why the relationship failed. And then you got pissed and mad because they started cheating on you. Or because they left you. And you use them cheating on you. You use them leaving you as an excuse of, man, see these motherfuckers ain't shit and da 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 da. And you fail to mention, you fail to talk about the fact that they would go out to work and come home to a dirty fucking house that you were sitting in all fucking day. You failed to mention the fact that you didn't want to clean up. You didn't want to take pride in yourself. You let yourself go. You don't want to talk about all that shit. You just want to talk about them leaving you. You just want to talk about them cheating on you. But you won't be real with yourself. And you won't be real with others. You won't talk about the shit you did. The shit you should have did. That you didn't do. And it is what it is. You know what I mean? It's a learning way. We all make mistakes. We all fuck up. Every single one of us. There's not one of us that's fucking perfect. But at some point. You gotta own your shit. At some point. You got to become a fucking adult. At some point, you got to grow up emotionally. At some point, you got to grow up spiritually. And you got to stop telling the stories that justify your mediocre living, that justify and rationalize your toxic behaviors. This is what it means to be an adult. This is what it means to be emotionally mature. This is what it means to be spiritually mature. 
I own my shit. I stop blaming everybody else for the bullshit that I'm in. I stop blaming everybody else for the bullshit I've gone through. It's called accountability. In this day and age, it seems as though nobody wants to be accountable for shit. Everybody wants to fucking credit when shit goes good. And even if they ain't did shit, they want fucking credit for it. They ain't helped you accomplish shit. They ain't been there for you. They ain't watched the kids while you went to school. They ain't did a motherfucking thing for you. But as soon as you graduate, they want to come in and act like they did all this shit to help you. They want credit for shit that they didn't do. But we don't want to take credit when shit goes bad. It is what it is. We got to grow the fuck up. We got to stop playing fucking games. You're never going to walk in your full of Authority. You're never going to walk in your full potential Holding on to that toxic baggage shit It's one thing To share your story To help others understand That man it, You could go through some crazy shit in life Just because you go through crazy shit in life Don't mean you got to stay there That doesn't mean that has to become your story in the aspect of that's your escape, that's your that's your fucking prison. And the truth be told, the great majority of us are still incarcerated in the fucking baggage and trauma and the pain and the suffering we went through 20, 30, 40, 50 fucking years ago. We're still incarcerated to that shit. We're still locked up and shackled and enslaved to that fucking bullshit. We're enslaved to that shit. And again, it is what it is. Do what you do. I'm not here to knock you. I'm not here to judge you. I'm here to say, man, there's a better way. I'm here to say you don't have to keep living like that. I'm here to say you don't have to keep telling that same bullshit story. And see, people miss it sometimes because I often share my story. Of all, this, not all, but a lot of the shit that I've gone through in life. As far as seeing my father murder my mom when I was two. About being molested when I was six, twice. See, I don't share those stories and they have pain attached to them. I don't share those stories and that's like why I'm the way that I am. You, you know what I mean? I don't have any attachments to those things, those experiences. Catch what I'm saying. That shit don't fuck with me. That shit don't bother me. There's no pain, there's no mm, attached to any of that shit. Well, because I've dealt with it, I've released it. The truth be told, the only thing that I'm aware of that still bothers me from time to time is the fact that I don't have my mother. That's the one thing that bothers me. I've come to grips and all the other shit with my father killing her in front of me. I've come to grips with that. I've released that pain, that anger, that hatred, malice towards him. I've come to grips with her being gone in the aspect of I've released the, the, the 
what's the word? The um, abandonment issues that I had because of her leaving. <laughs> when I say it bothers me, it bothers me in the aspect, I'll see people talking to their mom. I'll hear people and I'll see people interacting with their mom as adults. And I'm smiling because like, man, they don't realize how fortunate they are. They don't realize how blessed they are. I hear them complaining about mom and mom, da, 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 and I'm sitting there and it saddens me because it's like, damn, they don't realize how lucky they are. They don't realize the blessing that they have in regards to having their mom. And uh, mom may not be perfect. Mom has her own issues and bullshit she got to deal with. Ain't nobody perfect. And yet they're still fortunate and blessed to be able to interact and laugh and hang out with mama. And so that's the part that just has a little sting to it still that I'm still working through. My mom has been gone 52 years. 52. And I still miss her. I still wish she was here. I still wish I could hear her laughing and see her smiling. I still wish I could just top it up with her and look her in the face. I still wish she could give me a hug and rub my bald head and tell me, baby, it's going to be okay. I still wish I could hear her tell me, I'm proud of you. I love you. But what I don't do, I don't allow her being gone to fuck me up in life, to where I can't do shit in life other than be doing stupid ass shit, you, you know what I mean? I don't allow the pain of her not being here to be the excuse and the reason I become a fucking drug addict, the excuse and the reason I become a fucking functioning alcoholic or just an alcoholic. I don't allow her being gone to be the excuse of why I can't function, why I can't be a productive member of society, or why I can't be all that I came here to be. That's the difference. That's the difference. So we got to grow up. We have to grow up. And we have to deal with our pain. We have to deal with the bullshit we've been running away from. We have to deal with the bullshit that's fucked us up that nobody knows about. The shit we're not comfortable with telling anybody. We gotta grow up. I made a video yesterday talking about releasing or facing the monster in the mirror. The monster, you're not a monster. The monster is the emotional baggage that you carry. The monster is the negative toxic energy attached to your fucking experiences. You gotta catch that. That's the monster. It's your energy that you attach to your experiences. That's what haunts you. That's what fucks you up at night and don't allow you to sleep. 
That's what fucks you up and robs you of your peace and your joy and your happiness. That's what fucks you up and causes you to self-sabotage. All the possible things that you, and productive things and beautiful things you can accomplish with your life. It's that negative energy within you that you have attached to your painful experiences that you haven't learned how to release, how to let go. And it is what it is. My family, I hope and pray that I said something to encourage you, to inspire you, or to even challenge your way of thinking. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Man, I love this tribe. You know what I mean? I, when I call you guys a tribe, man, we're a soul family. You know what I mean? I love this tribe. I love what we're building. I love the connections and the relationships we're establishing. This is how we change the world. By having honest and open, transparent conversations like this. By keeping it real with each other. And by dealing with our bullshit. By letting each other know, man, I see you. You ain't the only one going through that, man. Da, da, da. I've gone through that, 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 that. And it's not to outdo each other in our pain and trauma. It's to encourage each other, lift each other up, to inspire each other, to hold each other accountable. Man, I love you guys. Happy healing. Peace.